Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. For this week's episode I have something new and exciting for you because I'm coming to you today on location from Pugwash, Nova Scotia. few days, Dan and I have been traveling across eastern Canada. Nova Scotia has been our first major stop after going through Ottawa and driving through New Brunswick to get here. We've been in Pugwash for the past few days seeing what this province has to offer. So today I'm going to tell you a little bit about what we did. Before we arrived in Nova Scotia, like I said earlier, we drove through New Brunswick and while driving through we happened to stop for supper near the world's longest covered bridge. Here in Heartland, New Brunswick, home of the longest covered bridge in the world. The bridge uh, crosses St. John River, which looks beautiful this evening. Uh, it's a great view. This bridge is over 1,200 feet long, um, which makes it the longest one in the world. through New Brunswick, we also visited the Bay of Fundy. Well, the park is actually closed, but uh, we're just gonna walk in anyway and see the Hopewell Rocks at um, low tide, so we can walk out onto the ocean floor. Nova Scotia is a small town situated on the Northumberland Strait. One of the unfortunate facts about Pugwash's history is that a lot of the old buildings are no longer standing in the village because of a series of fires that happened in the late 1920s destroying most of the historic buildings. Fortunately, a few like the Lobster Factory and Thinker's Lodge still remain and so you can still get a glimpse into Pugwash's history. After arriving in Pugwash and settling into our cute little Airbnb, we decided to explore the town a little bit. We started off by checking out the Thinker's Lodge, which is a historical site and museum in Pugwash. So we're now visiting the Thinker's Lodge, which is a historic site here in Pugwash. It's actually really cool. It is the location where some really important conferences were held in um, the early 1960s um, with discussions of nuclear disarmament and the Cold War. They were run by a man named Cyrus Eaton who grew up in Pugwash but moved to America and a bunch of really important scientists met here. Thinker's Lodge, we just sort of hung around town for the rest of the day, and then the next day, on Saturday, we woke up early to go to the Pugwash Farmer's Market. We headed out 
to Gulf Shore Provincial Park. We're here at Gulf Shore Provincial Park, which is just outside of Pugwash. It is a beautiful day today. Yesterday was kind of cloudy, but it is so bright and sunny today, and the ocean looks very blue and just beautiful. what we saw in New Brunswick and Nova Scotia on our road trip so far. I hope you've enjoyed this little glimpse into Atlantic Canada and if you're interested in seeing more then make sure you check out the videos listed in the description of all the other places that I've seen so far. Last week I uploaded a video about my time in Newfoundland. You can check that out right here if you're interested. Um, it was a really fun video so make sure you go watch that one. Coming up next will be a video about PEI. That's Prince Edward Island if you're not Canadian. Make sure you check that out and of course follow me on Snapchat and Instagram to see more of my travels and subscribe below if you haven't already so that you'll never miss a future video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!